Hi, this is Dr. Stacy Naito and I'm going to talk to you today about the Perfect Derma Peel. Now it's by Bella Medical Products. This is a medical grade peel. Hi guys, it's day eight of my derma peel experience and I'm going to show you my neck first before we talk about my face. Oops, sorry about that. Um, chest is pretty much done. Still feeling very scaly and rough right in here. And there's some areas on my neck that are very dry and scaly. Um, it feels like sandpaper um, right here. So otherwise, I think the peeling is pretty much done. I have actually another itchy spot right here. So spot, spot, spot. Hopefully those will slough off and resolve soon. My face, my forehead is flaky. Um, I'm still having quite a bit of irritation, so there's some erythema around my eyes, and um, so that's been taking some time to resolve. Um, is it still there? Won't go away. The cracking on the corners of my lips is starting to resolve finally, thank goodness, because it was getting really painful and really uncomfortable. So basically, it looks like most of the peeling is done in, all in here. Like I said, this is just a little bit rough. I think there's going to be a little bit of sloughing in here because I'm getting that um, crackled vase kind of appearance to the skin right here. So there's going to be a little bit more going on here. Um, and yeah, so like right here, right here, and that should do it. Um, I ran out of the post peel protectant yesterday, yesterday afternoon. So uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just using my regular moisturizer to hydrate. And I'm just really hoping that all of this resolves by say day 12 because I'm getting really impatient and really anxious about the fact that I'm going this long with uh, dealing with downtime. Um, I have photo shoots coming up and it's really frustrating. Plus, the other thing is I ordinarily don't wear foundation. And I have been wearing foundation since day five, uh, since Saturday, because I was just looking freaky scary. And uh, there was just no way I could go out in public. So, just letting you guys know that, you know, that's, that's an issue. And so I'm hoping by, say, like, a, like day 12, day 13, that I can put the foundation away and that I can just do my regular routine, which is really, really simple. Um, typically, I only do a little bit of concealer right under the eyes, which actually now I don't even need. Um, so it's funny. I don't need it here. That's where I usually put concealer. But I, I need a bunch of stuff here. So I usually only do um, a little bit of concealer if need be. Uh, translucent loose powder and that's it I mean that's as simplified as you can get uh, as far as a makeup routine for your skin anyway I will come back tomorrow day 9 and show you what's going on it's time for me to go put on some foundation so I can be a little more presentable to my patients today see you tomorrow